AI, it's everywhere. It's both scary and exciting. We need to talk about it. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jenna Redfield. Today I'm gonna to be talking about my top seven favorite ADHD slash marketing tools that I use that have AI. So they're specifically AI tools. I decided to make this video because I'm always looking for new AI tools, especially because AI tools can be so helpful for both ADHDers who struggle sometimes with coming up with ideas or, or how to organize your thoughts or just skipping steps, you know, in general. And I do a lot of ADHD content on here, but a lot of my in-person real life stuff is marketing. So creating content for this YouTube channel, for my podcast, as well as for my own clients, for my social media. If you don't follow me, I have all my links below. I'm basically active on every single platform. But I wanted to share seven of my favorites that I actually use, that I use pretty consistently. And I wanted to share with you how I use them as well as my recommendation. Number one, I gotta start with the OG ChatGPT. I use this probably every day. Um, and I, if you haven't checked it out yet, um, there's a couple of things that you can also do. There's a really cool chat uh, to GPT plugin that you can do. So if you rather say all the words out loud instead of typing it, highly recommend checking out. There's a, it's a Chrome extension. Um, that's what I use. You can use it on your phone and on your browser. But I have used this from everything from naming my podcast to summarizing a bunch of text from um, a social media video that I do to there's just like writing copy on my website. I just have used it for everything. And if you haven't used ChatGPT before, I highly recommend checking it out. One of the coolest uses, especially for ADHDers, is putting in a bunch of different ingredients and then having it make recipes for you. There are literally so many cool things that you can do with ChatGPT. I recommend looking into some resources, I'll link a few below, that can help you with some prompt ideas because that's really the biggest thing that you need to know is the more specific, the better. And sometimes it doesn't quite get it right, so you can go back and edit and then update it. And it is honestly game-changing for me as a marketer, as an ADHDer, and it's a tool that I highly recommend checking out if you haven't. Along with that, a lot of people ask me if I use Notion AI. I actually don't. I use ChatGPT over Notion AI. I've just found it's better, and it, I like to have it kind of separated from Notion. So I've done, I think, one video on Notion AI, and personally, as of now, I don't really use it but that might change in the future depending on how it works with the ChatGPT moving forward, some of the updates that it gets, but right now I don't use Notion AI. Okay, number two, this is my OG AI tool that I have been using since way before the AI revolution hit, basically beginning of this year, late last year, and it's called Otter, and it is my absolute favorite tool besides ChatGPT. I use this also probably almost as much as I use uh, ChatGPT, and this is a transcribing service. So instead of paying to have someone transcribe or having software do it, I literally pay $10 a month for basically 6,000 minutes of transcription. All I do is either I can talk into it and it will automatically instantly transcribe what I'm saying, or you can import audio or video and it will transcribe it. I have been using this for years for social media videos, uh, client calls, workshops I've done, and they have this really cool new feature in the last year called Summaries, where it actually, every couple of minutes, it will like summarize what you talked about, as well as give timestamps. So for me, for my YouTube videos, you'll probably see it in this video, I will, once it's done exporting, I upload it into Otter, and then it will automatically give me my timestamps for the videos. It's so helpful because otherwise I would have to rewatch the whole video and, and write down the timestamps. This is gonna be so much more helpful, so much faster. I use this so much. And then another thing that I use is if I get it into Otter, I will copy it into ChatGPT and then ask it to summarize it or whatever it is. Um, sometimes I'll put like an entire transcript of a video and say, you know, write an Instagram caption for this. Obviously it's not perfect, but it's a really, really good way to start. And it helps me write a lot because I'm not a big writer. I don't really like writing. So having this uh, Otter tool as well as ChatGPT is really, really helpful. 
Okay, the third one is actually a couple of video tools that I use for AI that help me with video. The first one is the one that I use the most and that is called Captions AI. And this actually allows me to add really cool captions to my videos. It also can create headlines and summaries of the video for you. I, I used to use that more. I don't use it as much. I mostly just use it for captions. I've just found it very, very accurate. It's $10 a month. Um, I will say also Otter is $10 a month. So those are the two AI platforms that I pay for. Um, I find it worth it because I use it a lot and it has really, really good captions. If you're looking for a free option, CapCut also has some great text and the other one that I recently discovered that I think is really helpful for making short form videos is called Get Munch. It actually takes a longer video and cuts it into clips. I found that it actually isn't super great at what I want but it helps me come up with ideas for which clips to use. It uses AI to find clips from longer videos so what I'll do is then I'll take those ideas and then just edit it on my own. So again that's just what I would do but that's just a, another thing that you can do as well. This one I haven't used too much, but I hear about a lot in the ADHD community. It's called Goblin Tools or Goblin Tasks. I don't remember which one it's called, but basically what this does is it takes and breaks apart a task into smaller tasks. So if you have ADHD and you struggle with all the different things that it takes to do something, highly recommend checking out uh, Goblin Tools and you can definitely check that out as well. Okay, so number five, this has to do with making images using AI. There's a couple of ones that I have personally used. Uh, one is the Remini app. Uh, you actually might not know this, but a lot of my profile images are actually AI. So I use Remini to create some images of myself, so my LinkedIn and, and YouTube profile photo is actually AI. Uh, some of my thumbnails are pictures of me are actually AI images, as well as I also like to use things like Bing AI search, which actually allows you to create really cool graphics like these, where you can actually make illustrations of yourself. I also use Canva. It does have AI. I wouldn't say the Canva AI is super good yet, but it is there and there's a lot of Canva stuff that you can use for AI. Okay, this is a software that I really like for number six. It's called Gamma. This is actually what I use now instead of Canva for presentations and workshops. So they do have some AI options. I don't always use them, but it is a good place to start if you're trying to create a slide deck or anything that has a you know PowerPoint it actually allows the software to make, I think, five to 10 different slides for you. So it's a great way to start if you're kind of stuck and you're wanting to make some sort of presentation. Gamma app is amazing. It's also free and I have been using it for probably over a year now and I absolutely love it. Okay, the last one that I absolutely love, number seven, I just discovered this like a couple of days ago and I became obsessed. It's called My Mind. This is basically like if Pinterest was smart and had AI and it was like a pinning tool that allowed you to uh, save not just images, but also videos and articles and anything almost like a, like a bookmark tool, but it uses AI and search. So you can actually search for different keywords or different things that like automatically tags all the stuff that you're saving. So I've actually decided to start using this instead of bookmarks and I'm gonna see how it goes. I've only been using it for a couple days. So at some point I might do a full video on this tool because I think it's really interesting and I think a lot of ADHDers would like it because it is very visual. It's very easy to organize. You don't have to go back and label anything. So anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this quick video. It is Thanksgiving week here in the United States. And so um, if you're watching this the week of, we do have some Black Friday sales. Make sure to sign up for our newsletter down below so that you get all access to that. We have our Notion Foundations course. We have Simplify Your Digital Life, which is my mini course that has all about how to organize your digital life. We also have awesome Notion templates on our website. So make sure to just check out all the links below and you can find out more. We have some more awesome stuff coming in the new year. So make sure to subscribe for more videos and I'll talk to you next time. Bye.